police released these photos calling these people, quote, potential persons of interest. And late tonight, a spokesman confirmed Smollett and his music manager did tell detectives they were on the phone as the alleged attack unfolded. But investigators were unable to independently verify phone records because Smollett declined to turn his phone over. And tonight, the mayor also weighing in. Um, obviously, uh, the alleged statement of what happened here is horrific, and there's no place for it here in the city of Chicago. Mayor Rahm Emanuel talks about a case attracting national headlines. Actor Jussie Smollett telling police he was brutally attacked in Chicago early Tuesday morning. Police tell ABC7 a dozen detectives are pursuing new leads, including grainy photos of two persons of interest. Tonight, police have tracked Jussie Smollett's movements, confirming video shows Smollett walking across the street from those two persons of interest. He walks out of frame for about a minute and reappears on another camera, quote, wearing a rope like a necktie. There is no video of an assault. Investigators say Smollett then walked into an apartment building, passing security and boarding an elevator. He would enter an apartment, and that's where police were eventually called. Police also confirmed Smollett told them he was on the phone with his manager as his attackers yelled racial and homophobic slurs. But detectives can't verify because he refused to give them his phone. Police also say Smollett had road salt on his sweatshirt, but nowhere else on his body in surveillance video. Detectives also were back at the scene yesterday with Smollett as he retraced what he says happened early in the morning. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.